Abhi Shankar and Kharul Azhar. And the talk is on how open source may impact your life. Over to you guys. Okay. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I think uh, we really appreciate your weekend to spend the time with us. So today, uh, me and uh, Bobby will share a little bit how open source may impact which you, your life and our life. Okay. Yeah. So I'm uh, born and uh, I am um, basically born at bottom of Bangalore, but I know stay in Budapest and I'm part of the Ubuntu India logo and the Ubuntu logo concept right now. And I'm an independent consultant in uh, Budapest. Um, and Cairo. Okay, uh, it's me, Cairo. Uh, you can call me uh, Fenris. I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I'm with the uh, Ubuntu Malaysia logo and I'm also one of the uh, Ubuntu membership board and working currently as a principal consultant. So yeah, I mean, uh, actually, uh, before we go our talk today, so basically we just try to memorize our old days, so basically how we started. I mean, not we started, it means like how we managed to get started with our Ubuntu project is like a decade ago. It was uh, in uh, Florida. So I think uh, Till also was here. Till is somewhere here. And then <laughs> Bobby also uh, there. But I managed to climb out a bit to get a spot. So I was in the pillar. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is. Uh, some things to memorize. So, so yeah, this is basically the the, the, the treasure I found. There's a person here. He was like, I think at the time I'm admiring uh, Mark Shuttleworth because I contributed. So, and luckily, luckily he was with him. So I just found out in my treasure box. So I just put here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then, uh. Out of like a decade, I think there's no summit. So then the canonical reviving the event with, with a different, a uh, little bit of format. So it was uh, in Prague. So basically, this is uh, where the time after I missed mis contact with my brother, Bavi. So we managed to get here. So we first met after the decade. But I think till of course this here so but need to find where is he okay so basically this is uh, a way of the maybe i will relate these two photos after uh, along the ways that uh, we go to the top okay you so who wanted to open source like uh yeah uh, one part of it is the enterprise thing and second part of it is the community thing so uh, basically from the community part uh, everyone thinks that uh, open source is just about the coding and uh, other stuff but open source is more than coding it, uh, it actually means community building and a uh, uh, bunch of hobbies for doing work for the passion so how to get involved so basically, before to get involved, so we need to ask why would I want to, what can I do, and how do I start? So basically, this is uh, one of the like, three basic things that before you want to get to get involved with any open source projects, you need to know, have a clarity what you, what you want to do and how do you start. So... So uh, the basic uh, basic motivation for me or Cairo to contribute is the community itself. We sort of uh, like going around and meeting new people, making new friends, and uh, uh, create a, a long-lasting bonding with the community. So, like uh, we are uh, we are contributing from two thousand six, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So it has been our eighteenth year in progress. Okay, so yeah, like Bobby said, so basically this is like why. First is basically we go for uh, knowledge and then of course a part of the knowledge. So we are meeting new friends, like we are meeting you guys, like the new people and we are chilling out 
us all together and like this week one also last night we have a uh, dinner I mean everyone having a dinner so a part of it like but we, but we say we have a motivation so usually after an event right we manage to go a tour to that place so we can do a sightseeing and a part of it actually is a career for for the community as well when when you contribute then maybe you bring uh, goes to the uh, event a conference so maybe it's like deal or maybe can find out like a protege or something like that to even like snaps and maybe like people also might found someone that can be on board as a talented person so of course like actually the event so basically we managed to reunite after a decade so me and Bavi also at the rock and of course not only me and Bavi like you guys so maybe we have a yeah. chance to meet so so last uh, Lurius was in Copenhagen in 2012 back so after 10 years meeting new people it was a very good experience for us So yeah, uh, actually, just now what what uh, what you can do, right? So what can you contribute? So you can contribute with code, patches, report bugs, testing, documentations, UI, UX, community event, and being a authorized for the project. Yeah, uh, basically, uh, both of us started uh, the first two things. And we are right now doing the last two things. <laughs> since since we are growing older, so yeah, like early days we like uh, we are pay, uh, patch, uh, doing our patches. But I'm still like now still uh, reporting about, so I'm quite deeply busy like trying every new release, uh, the Ubuntu or the Kubuntu. So we uh, I do the testing, and then if I found something, and then I will uh, report directly. Means like from you put it as stuff like Jeremy. It's because like I know him. I mean like maybe someone from Canonical or the project teams. And then we managed to yeah, I mean the documentation. I think this one documentations. Uh Sazwan have a workshop yesterday for translations. So basically we can do the translations with any uh, languages available. Yeah, I started uh, the Ubuntu developer in 2010. So I'm right now concentrating on the complete events. <laughs> I was on the ERP also, like in 2012. That was the predecessor to what is known as Narch today. Because on the ERP, we found it very difficult to get the apps into the software center. And in 2013, that's where Snaps was born. And still is a very important part of it. <laughs> because after the first uh, Ubuntu app showed up, where I was also one of the judges. I was like literally burnt out and uh, we had to automate some things. So that's why Till came in <laughs> and created snaps. Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah, like yesterday we managed to have the uh, local sessions and about the debuting the local. So maybe like today because I'm one of the membership board, I, I can maybe share to you guys uh, the membership application processes so yeah first you need to yeah to draft up about yourself and then uh, what are your contribution at our discourse and then uh, you need to sign up the uh, code of conduct and after you sign the conduct uh, your applications then you will have your interviews with the uh, membership board in the IRC channel Currently still in IRC, I'm not sure how soon the uh, channel Ubuntu meeting will move to Matrix. If, uh, the one will depends on the time. Okay, so yeah, basically this is the the gist of the code of conduct. Yeah. So basically, our community uh, meeting uh, stands for. Uh, Diversity, collaboration, responsibility, freedom, and we always are a welcome community to anyone who can just come in and say that we are contributing. It doesn't have to be code or it doesn't have to be sort of technical contributions. You can do community events, management, translation, documentation, 
So we value freedom and uh, we value respect for each other. That was that's what makes the Ubuntu community great. For past twenty years, yeah. Because of this uh, good conduct, we managed to yeah to working up around the globe. With without the code of conduct, I think there must be like some issues. I think uh, like the peoples or the cultures or the races and everything. So with this conduct, so we respect either. Though we managed to do uh, collaborations, responsibility, diversities, and freedoms, and then the process flow. Yeah, like I said just now, you just prepare your application at this course. The wiki is basically the previous uh method that we use. Currently, we are I think the chemical and the Ubuntu project are migrating from wiki to this course. Everything we documented in uh, this course, and then we sign the code of conduct. And then we get a testimonial. So yeah, I think Aryan or maybe like other people to India got deal yeah, here, got like deeper, got Kwashi. Maybe like you guys can contribute. Means like if you know the community peoples that you can give a testimonial. And then uh, you need to have a RAC. So basically, this is uh, some things that I mentioned earlier. If uh, we move. Uh, to uh, fully to matrix, so this is something that you can just uh, use your SSO, your ID with uh, Launchpad SSO. Then you go to matrix, and then review and interview by the board members, and then you will get uh, like a certificate from uh, Chemical. This one, I think, I steal the Rudra. I'm not sure Rudra still here or not. And uh, one more thing is, uh, yeah, uh, we expect minimum of uh, six months of contribution. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a that's not a standard rule, but that's a followed practice. Like six months of anything, whether it might be uh, contributing to a community event or setting up a community event or doing uh, snaps or doing uh, some developmental work. So that some sort of contribution. Yeah, six months is minimum required. This is uh, me with the President of India in 2017 received a national award for my contributions to the Ubuntu community and disability sector in India. And uh, basically, I am a PhD in Generative AI, so I work for auto automatic speech recognition. So I developed uh, a voice translation model for Indian languages in 2013. So all my work got recognized by the government and I got a national award from the President of India in 2013. Yeah. So basically, I think this this photos been shows that I mean the open source impact our life basically. So for Bavi is uh, I think higher achievement for me. But I just like yeah manage. I think we managed to get with the military. So I'm also working uh, closely with the governments and the military defense. I think it's all because of uh, I'm not saying that uh, maybe is uh, from the past is. Uh, our contribution, so it will be like recognized and impact our life. So it means like for people like in India, maybe like when uh, no Bavi means that like, oh, dead people know. It means like for Malaysia, I think if people talking about like Henry and they let it, oh, people will like chalk or marking me if you're stamping to my face. Oh, this guy is the super two guy. It means let's until that and the uh, open source guy in uh, in uh, generally. So uh, one more thing I wanted to add about Henry's. He actually, uh, he actually collaborated with the ex-Prime Minister of Malaysia and brought in Ubuntu to government, uh, government systems in Malaysia. So he had a big hand in it. Yeah. So it's not basically, yeah, I managed to get uh, to the uh, government. So basically when I, like this event, for example, like I managed to meet the canonical people. I mean, so basically this is a... Uh, the uh, engagements that actually we have a connection so that we can bring back to our country. For example, I mean, if there is any, because uh, Malaysia also have a journey for open source uh, for the government. So that's why I think back in uh, a few years, I think there is a Bel I think Belinda. So Belinda and then Prakash, I think a few canonical staff also have been flew to Malaysia. So it's like engaging with the Malaysian government. Okay. So, yeah. I think 
actually there's like I do, we don't want to brag our achievement, so maybe like this fo two photos actually showing I means like give you the the newcomers uh, inspiration. So basically, uh, how open source? No, basically, uh, Ubuntu specifically, but in generally, like uh, I think uh, Mr. Bayu means like if you are in the graphic designer and everything, so you might get recognized. I mean, if it somehow it will impact like till of course without till I think now we cannot revive the old printers and uh, all the drivers right we cannot like just throw away or uh, with uh, new updates of windows like uh till uh sharing with us yesterday so yeah i mean you have anything else to okay. I think... <laughs> oh yeah so so this is basically another yeah of course we are going out with a different membership for me like uh bavi from developers so I'm more on uh, community but somehow or rather we managed to go to up to this level so basically is our past contribution so like this one so we have like uh, like unluckily uh, Bobby doesn't manage to came over with the uh, last summit and then we have a hybrid uh, sessions with Matia Matia is so one of the uh, membership board and then the uh, local council as well, and then uh, me, yeah. Yeah, Matia is a Debian developer also. He works on the uh, Debian team in various various different teams. So he is a developer also. Yeah. So I think all all of this maybe like I we don't have more to talk. I mean, you yeah, uh, uh, is Arian here? Sorry, Arian, Arian here. Arian, no. yeah. So I'll just, uh, he actually uh, shared a, a single line about how Ubukon Asia came to India, right, yesterday. I will tell you the uh, entire thing, what happened in November. So uh, actually, Moro met uh, Aryan in Guadek, right, in Riga. Yeah, and then uh, he asked about uh, Ubuntu India and uh, then onwards, uh, Moro contacted me, like, uh, is there a Ubuntu community in India? I said it's not that. So uh, in that time, what was happening is, hello. Uh. Yes. In in the last year, month. Yeah. In the last year, I've organized a conference or opportunity open source in Mandi, IIT Mandi. And there I walked around in the end of the conference with a QR code on my phone, which they can scan and then they can enter themselves when they, when they are interested in participating in an Ubuntu local community. And there were in the end 50 people who signed up. I don't know whether the list was actually used afterwards, but we had a list of 50 people in, interested. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, after that, uh, we collaborated and uh, uh, the thing is, both of us are not from Jaipur. So, we, we didn't know what we were signing up to and uh, uh, by that time, Loco reboot was happening. Like, we were revamping the Loco console and uh, he also joined in and uh, he sort of had this idea. Like, uh, Young Bin uh, sent, uh, sent us a proposal bit like, hey guys, please, uh, Please uh, send us a bid for Bukon Asia. So he thought, okay, well, why not do Bukon Asia? And then we just collaborated and we are in Jaipur right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's a part of the Bukon Asia is part of the uh, Ubuntu India reboot. So uh, anyone of you is free to join. And uh, the whole team of Aryan. Uh, uh, what's your name? Sijan? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Devanshu, Nakshatra, they are all, they are all, uh, they work really so hard behind the scenes and a lot of people also from JEC are seen. So, uh, you guys can join in and uh, you guys can also start contributing to the Ubuntu community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think like Bobby, uh, like pitching. Yeah, so actually, I'm so like would like to like with the rest of the communities like I know like yeah, Koreans. Yeah. So, and, so, and, and, <laughs> uh, 
and Yongbin, they have been uh, much needed support for us throughout the entire uh, event planning. Like from past eight months, uh, they have been constantly guiding us. So thanks to Manres, Yongbin, and all the global community team who who was part of Open Asia. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, so basically. I think to I think we doesn't have much to say, but I just want to summarize the thing. So basically, it's not only uh you put it is just a way for you to to go and contribute to open source. I think we really need a new young young people, young talents, everything to contribute to open source. So yeah, we at least we for me for uh we I'm talking about specifically for Malaysia locals, right? So we still like right now like still like hunting for a legacy to, to pass over the legacy so because like we are like growing older so i mean sorry we are growing veteran okay <laughs> okay so we really need to young up like even the contributions all like but we say we just managed to be at the end of it like community events and do the energy so we are not like have a kind of energies to stay up like 24 7 to do coding to do paintings like the patients, I think the young people like you guys, uh, the audience, have that kind of patience. So, yeah, I think uh, that's uh, all from us. So, if yeah. any questions or any sharings from the floor, yeah, we will appreciate it. Can we open our local community for this in our city? Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. So, which city are you from? Ujjain. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are actually revamping the Indian logo, and uh, uh, we are designing on the team structure. And uh, we are actually planning about uh, bringing Gubukon India every year from next year. So we are still in the plan, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated. And there's a matrix matri channel also called Ubu Ubuntu India, so you can join it, join it on Matrix and Telegram. Any more questions? Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. So, anyone else? Yeah, one more, one more to add. When I look at people like Aryan, Somili, uh, where is Rudra? We feel like we are getting world value. <laughs> <laughs> like you guys are doing amazing work. Yes, and one thing. I am. I have started to. Uh, I am. I have started in, uh, last year, as I said, to uh, organize an opportunity open source conference in Mandi. Did it this year again on the, in, in IIT Kanpur last weekend. And when there's an UbuCon India, perhaps one can have a collaboration and at least sometimes co-locate the conferences. Yeah. So till next year we can have like Ucon India into opportunity open source. We can collaborate and we can do it. So this would attract more people and spread Ubuntu even more. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I guess want to add something actually uh, from what Till said. So about collaboration. Uh, I've been, I think, I, 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 uh, Paris oh, I always listen to my talk uh, previously. One thing I, 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 I'm just not not pushing, but I'm stressing a lot about is collaboration. So don't never do things silo. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's some sometimes it's politic things. Are you someone this one want to lead? Everyone to lead. So everyone. When everyone uh, doesn't want to collaborate, this part, this one say that oh, it's burn out. Like uh, I think Babani was already mentioned, burn, burning out because you cannot manage to get uh, house, anyone to um, uh, get funding, anyone to manage the uh, I don't know uh, what is it uh, volunteers. So everyone is getting burnout and then poof, 
Nothing happen. Nothing happen. So try to calibrate. If this, for example, uh, this university want to do want to do event, they can collaborate from with other universities, uh, communities to do same thing and then merging up. It's better. It's more. Maria, that's always I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm always uh, call, I'm 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 sure this on. Try to collaborate because, like I think, uh, for Ubukon itself, uh, I think if 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 we handed uh, to Indian teams uh, roundly fully, I don't think uh, we managed to get uh, not just uh, interest, not just interest interest speaker, but also. Uh, manpower and also experience from what we do on the past because without uh, old people, no, veteran, sorry. So without veterans, there's no newcomers. So collaborate, never work in silo. That's what I want to when I what I want to add. That. It's a good point. <laughs> Any more questions? So yeah, if. No more questions. I think we are by Of course, we will uh, still be here until like uh, tomorrow. So you can just come around me, Babis, or the rest of the canonical staff if you have anything related to uh, can it, uh, Ubuntu or canonical specifically or open source generally. Okay, I think without that, we thank you. Yeah. So thanks a lot for attending this session, and uh, yeah, hopefully. I can uh, help in, help in rebooting of Ubuntu India and Ubuntu Hungary also. That's my next plan. Ubuntu Magyar there. And bring in Ubuntu also good after second. Ubuntu on your own. So I'm in talks with Madhya for the same. So I hope it happens. Okay, thank you. Yeah.